and the bribery allegations. Police also arrested a film star from Bombay. We are not feeling well. They were investigating possible links between Bollywood criminals and cricketers like Kronje. And there was another link. There'd been hundreds of unexplained calls to a certain man in South Africa. They were also talking to a common number, a South African number. This number was subsequently identified to be that of Hamid Qasim Benju. Hamid Qasim Banjo owns a sweet shop in Johannesburg. The police believed that he was also a link between Kronje, bookmakers and the Gulf. That person had to be somebody who was either uh, the key or who was uh, trying to control the situation. In the recordings, the name of Sharjah had been mentioned. Kronje's next destination happens to have been Sharjah. What sort of questions would you like to ask Hansi Kronje about links with Sharjah? There is, as I mentioned, there is a hint of uh, some link in Sharjah which needs to be investigated. The name Sharjah has figured in the conversation. It possibly means that uh, there is a link. There is an obvious link. In March last year, Kronje came to Sharjah to play in a three-way series of one-day internationals. According to the King Commission, Hamid Kasim Banjo, the Johannesburg sweet shop owner, also came here to contact Kronje again. Whilst I was in Dubai for the Saja Cup in March of this year, I was again contacted by Hamid. He indicated that he wished to resume contact with me along the same lines as in India. I had by now developed sufficient resolve to put it all behind me and told him that I was not interested. But Kronje also admitted to the King Commission that when he was in Sharjah, he was telephoned by yet another anonymous caller who said he'd pay him $100,000 before the game and $100,000 afterwards. And I'm just scandalised, frankly, that, that one-day cricket continues to be played in Sharjah, that the ICC continue to sanction uh, cricket tournaments in Sharjah. Do you accept that there might have been match-fixing here in Sharjah? I, uh, until I have proof, I cannot disclaim that or, or, or say that I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, who are we to tell who, which player, which book he called, which player where? I mean, it's really difficult to say that there was or wasn't. But one thing I can say, the Sharjah matches are of such high prof profile that they are watched so closely by so many people, as you see now, and watched on television so closely. It will be very difficult for a player to, to, be, to, be, to be fixing matches here because it's so obvious that people are watching every move, every stroke, every ball. This year, India pulled out of the latest Sharjah tournament. Coca-Cola cancelled its sponsorship. But the ICC has so far made no comment. The whole of the match fixing and corruption matter is, is a very complex and at times legalistic process, regrettably. At the present time in regard to Sharjah, though, uh, there is an investigation underway uh, that is uh, been put together by the United Ar Arab Emirates uh, uh, people uh, I understand that an interim report from that investigation has gone to the United Arab Emirates uh, Association, but as yet the ICC has not received a copy of it. Hansi Kronje, the South African hero who threw away his career, is now waiting for the final verdict of the King Commission. He also faces possible charges in India. Henry Williams, his former teammate, did not accept money. But he was suspended for six months for not reporting the offer. He said later he thought it had only been a joke. He's had to pay a personal price for what Cronier did. Has Hansi Cronier ruined cricket? In a way, uh, he did. Because he left the mark. Let the scandal mark. 
cricket and cricket officials lost credibility over, over match fixing uh, and we have to win the confidence of the public back again. The ICC is about to publish the interim Condon report into match fixing. It's likely to confirm that corruption continues. Whether it's too late now to salvage the gentleman's game will still be an open question. I think there's a lot more to come around the world. I mean, it's, it's unfortunately a topic that doesn't go away. It doesn't go away on its own. If you'd like to comment on the issues raised in tonight's programme, you can contact us on our website. Letters as the mail